Good morning and welcome to Commonwealth Day 2024. Before I read the affirmation, I'd uh, like to introduce the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Suzanne Adamantos, who will read the Commonwealth Day message from Commonwealth Secretary General, Right Honourable Patricia Scotland, KC. Hello, Mr. Chair. The Commonwealth Day message from the Right Honourable Patricia Scotland, KC, Commonwealth Secretary General. Commonwealth Day is an occasion of pride and celebration and a moment for reflection. On taking office in 2016, I said that we face some of the most critical challenges that many of us have ever seen. In the same year, the Commonwealth Women's Forum pronounced that alone we are invisible and together we are invincible. The experience of the last eight years has borne that out, intensifying global economic challenges, exasperated by a devastating pandemic and the tremors of conflicts beyond the Commonwealth are creating a hard reality for governments and citizens around the world. And the accelerating impacts of climate change are causing more frequent and devastating disasters, destroying lives and livelihoods and reversing years of hard-won progress. These crises interconnect, intertwine and worsen one another, combining to amplify existing social, political and economic inequalities and bring forward the tipping point for instability and conflict. It is into this crucible that the most profound and far-reaching technological advancement in the history of human civilization is unfolding. The reality of the world today, more connected yet more complex and challenged than ever, insists that we are dependent on each other. We work together or we suffer in isolation. In this context, facing challenges which are so intractable, so interconnected, so consequential and far, so far-reaching, our place with the Commonwealth offers us a genuine advantage. At a time of great strain across the multilateral system, the Commonwealth stands together, taking concrete steps towards the common good in every area. We helped each other through the pandemic. We worked together to restore the, restore the natural world on land and ocean, to accelerate the transition to clean energy, to protect the, and empower women and young people, to transform the delivery of healthcare and education, to safeguard democracy, enhance justice and build peace. That togetherness not only helps us deliver vital climate finance to our most vulnerable members, it enabled our landmark resolution on loss and damage, which helped to pave the way for global progress at COP28. Over the course of 75 years, our family of nations has grown in scale, strength and experience. Our inbuilt relationships are unique and extraordinary, drawing together one third of humanity across five continents and six oceans, with an astonishing diversity of thought, tradition and experience, and 1.5 billion people under the age of 30. By keeping our Commonwealth connection strong, we can defend our shared values and advance our shared interests, even in the most turbulent times. This is not an accident of history. Indeed, it is the consequence for our, of our ability to confound history, bringing independent sovereign nations together in the modern world with an equal say, united by a special blend of high deals, common interests, natural advantages and joint action. And it is the result of rigorous and determined work to live up to live up to the values and aspirations of our Charter and our continuous efforts to deliver each of the mandates our Heads of Government has given, us, given to us. In pursuance of these mandates, our proven ability to innovate remains to innovate remains the engine of our collective progress and the new tools which technology offers us can be powerful allies. The opportunities we are creating for governments and citizens, especially our young people, to understand master and harness, artificial intelligence is just one example. These opportunities do not enable economic advancement. They have the capacity to supercharge our response to the climate crisis and transform the delivery of public services across 56 member states. I am determined that in keeping with our long tradition of global leadership, the Commonwealth will become the definitive home for the use of artificial intelligence for the public good. 
I hold an unshakable belief in the value, power and potential of our Commonwealth family. That belief has only been strengthened by my experience as Secretary General. Together we have built a Commonwealth which is fit for the times we live in, stronger, more connected and more influential than ever, capable of rising to the world's challenges, in innovating to seize new opportunities and working together to shape a more peaceful, resilient and um, prosperous common future. In this Commonwealth Day, as we prepare to come together again as one Commonwealth family in Samoa for our Heads of Government meeting later this year, let us draw again from the wells of friendship and mutual respect, encouraging ourselves and inspiring each other to ever more more profound depths of cooperation and greater heights of achievement. Thank you. Before we raise the Commonwealth flag, I'll now read the affirmation uh, and uh, invite your response at the end. In this 75th year of the Commonwealth of Nations, let us now stand to pledge ourselves afresh to uphold and serve the values and fellowship of our unique association. We affirm that every person possesses unique worth and dignity. We affirm our desire for peace among all peoples and nations and our belief in justice for everyone everywhere. We affirm <clears throat> our respect for the natural world and that we will be stewards of the earth by working together to care for every part of it. We affirm our support for all young people in every part of our Commonwealth and in honouring their ingenuity and imagination, we affirm our belief that the future success of the Commonwealth rests with them. Joining together in kinship, affinity and unity, we celebrate the precious diversity of thought, culture, tradition and experience across our family of nations, and we build on shared inheritances. We reiterate our commitment to the values of the Commonwealth Charter both as an expression of our ideals and aspirations and as a framework for common action. Through our Commonwealth connection, we see each other, hear each other, learn from one another and cooperate with mutual respect and goodwill to deliver a resilient common future for all our communities and nations. We affirm our belief in the Commonwealth as a, as a powerful, powerful influence for good in the world and, and pledge ourselves to its, to its service, service now and, and for, for the future. future.